like having uh, played with Drew in, in practice and what did you see from him going into the game, just getting his moment and how he handled that getting inserted there? Yeah, I think he handled the moment great. Um, you know, coming in, we didn't really know um, which three quarterbacks, you know, we'll be playing for the whole entire game. So um, we, we kind of put them all three in uh, this game. And uh, I think Drew kind of came in and, and gave us a little spark that we needed. Overall, I mean, what do you think he kind of gives you guys as far as a, uh, a skill set and, and what you saw from him in, in terms of strengths uh, yeah. when he was in the game? Yeah, I think he's got confidence. Um, you guys can see that when, when you watch him play. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he knows the offense very well. And um, I think he's just confident in his throws. If you guys have questions, please raise your hand for the mic. Pete Sampson in front. Mike, do you sort of still like you guys are searching for something offensively? Um, like you guys are still trying to figure out, okay, what what's our identity? Yeah, we are. We're still searching for it. I mean, do you feel like you're getting closer to it? Yeah. I mean, we're working towards it every day. And the the groin injury, uh, BK was in here mentioned it was kind of like a, a pre like you have had playing through that for a while. When when did you first hurt it? And like how was that? How much has that been bothering you over the last week, month? Yeah, I mean, I kind of hurt a little bit in camp, um, on and off in first four games, and uh, kind of tweaked it pretty bad uh, today. But um, should be good to go for VTech and, uh, you know, get in with the trainers, get healthy, and should be good to go. Anyone else with questions for Mike? All right, Tim Priester in the back. Michael, could you describe what Cincinnati was trying to do with you guys coverage-wise? I mean, you were able to, to, to get free for, I think it was eight catches, but just in general, could you give us an explanation of how they defended you guys? Yeah, they were switching it up a lot. Um, you, we knew coming in they were going to play a lot of man, but they also played uh, a decent amount of zone too. Um, and I think we, um, you know, sometimes we, I don't know, maybe they tricked us a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't know. But, um, you know, we – and those plays are there to make, you got to make them. So. You talked about uh, the confidence that, that Drew Pine has in himself. Do you guys then in turn have a, a greater deal of confidence when he's on the field? And, and not trying to compare to, to Cone, but I mean just if, if you can see that he's confident, does that inspire you guys to be more confident? Cone's confident too. I mean all, all of our quarterbacks are confident. Um, I think – no matter what quarterback's out there for me personally, I can't speak for anyone else on the team, but I'm going to have the same amount of confidence because that's what I do. I have the same amount of confidence in all three quarterbacks. I know that they can all three give me the ball, and, um, yeah. Any other questions? Oh, on to the front. Mike, what's the, the mood in the locker room there as you guys were trying to get yourself together after, after the defeat? I don't know. I mean, we just lost, so... Uh, probably not not too good. And then, how critical is it to to you know wash this one away quickly to just get back to playing football and getting ready for the next game? Yeah, I mean we got to refocus. I mean we're gonna go in tomorrow. Um, I'm a little beat up. I'm gonna figure out what's wrong with me, and um, you know into V Tech into the next week. You know that's it's part of college football. That's part of sports. It's part of life. You know you got to move on. And now we're on to V Tech. Tyler Harker is next. Mike, going back to Pete's question about searching for it, and, and you admit that you guys are still looking for it, whatever it is, how, how does that process kind of manifest throughout the week? What are you doing personally to try to help this offense get to what you guys want it to be? And then as a team, how do you guys try to come together and you know start stacking performances on top of each other? I think it's about stacking good practices together with good practices. Um, I'm not saying we had a bad week of practices. We had a great week of practice, but um, – you know, I think coming in, um, you know, we got to put um, – we had some good plays in scheme-wise. We really did. We had some good plays in. I just think it's a matter of, um, you know, executing them, and um, that's really what it comes down to.